Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tuesday, the 17th of January of the second week in Ordinary Time is the Memorial of Saint Anthony, Abbot. Truth is to be sought in Holy Scriptures, not eloquence. All Holy Scripture should be read in the spirit in which it was written. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, may I give you fitting honor in the way I live my life and in the way I treat my neighbor. May I honor the Lord's day as a day holy to you. And may I always treat others with the same mercy and kindness which you have shown to me. Free me from a critical and intolerant spirit that I may always seek the good of my neighbor. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Born around 251 in Upper Egypt, Anthony responded wholeheartedly to the words of Christ in Matthew chapter 19, verse 21. Quote, If you wish to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Unquote. Anthony sold his family estate and sought out a solitary life in the Trian Desert, then later at Pisper on the banks of the Nile. His followers lived in nearby hermitages, and this primitive organized life earned Anthony the name Father of Monasticism. His erudite sayings formed a spiritual touchstone for succeeding generations of ascetics, including Saint Benedict. The Epistle This hope we have as an anchor sure and firm. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 10. Brothers and sisters, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for His name by having served and continuing to serve the Holy Ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate the same eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end, so that you may not become sluggish, but imitators of those who, through faith and patience, are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so, after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now, men swear by someone greater than themselves. For them, an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to give the heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an oath, so that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 
111. Responsorial. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel The Sabbath was made for people, not people for the Sabbath. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 2, verse 23. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priests could lawfully eat and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. The Sabbath was made for man. Mark chapter 2 verse 27. Jesus' disciples must have been hungry, so they walked through a field of grain. They picked the heads of the grain to eat, but some Pharisees objected. It was the Sabbath and they considered it a violation of the no work rule. Jesus' answer must have surprised them. The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Mark chapter 2 verse 27. What did he mean? Of course, Jesus knew that God had instituted the Sabbath as a commemoration of the seventh day of creation when he rested from the work of creation. From the time of Moses, it was a day to honor God and his deliverance of the Israelites from Egypt. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 12 But Jesus also knew that the Sabbath was meant to be a blessing for the people. After six days of work, they needed a day to worship God and to rest from their labors. The Sabbath is still meant to be a blessing for us. We are blessed every Sunday when we gather in worship to commemorate Jesus' resurrection and to receive his body and blood. Our hearts are lifted up as we look forward to that time 
when we will enjoy our eternal Sabbath of joy and celebration in the presence of the Lord. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 9 But it's good to be reminded that the Sabbath is also a day of rest. God gave it to us as a break from our daily routine so that we could refocus and reorient our lives around Him and the people He has given to us. Resting on the Sabbath can help us mentally detach from the concerns of the week and experience peace. It might give us a chance to reflect on how God has been moving in our lives so that we can follow Him more closely in the week to come. Jesus said that the Sabbath was made for man, and that includes you. Mark chapter 2, verse 27. So as you look ahead to the coming weekend, think about what you could do to set this day apart. How might you make it different from other days of the week? Perhaps you could spend a little extra time in prayer, or go for a walk, or enjoy a relaxing meal with loved ones. Whatever you decide, know that when you take the time to rest on the Sabbath, you will experience God's grace and goodness. Lord, thank you for your Sabbath rest. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.